Time is short. Iran's government is collapsing. You may have seen all the people on the streets of uh, the cities in Iran protesting. And you're saying, what's happening? Six months ago, this protest started and it's not going away because it's wide and deep. The people of Iran are fed up with the government, are fed up with the situation, and they're ready for a great change. They're out on the streets, not just against the government. They're saying, where is my bread? Where is my electricity? Where is my water? Many cities in Iran do not have water nor electricity. Many people in Iran, even though Iran is such a rich country, they cannot afford the basic bread, the basic milk and eggs. And they're on the streets and saying, it's your fault. It is the government's fault and not just the government. They're saying it's the fault of Islam itself. So they're against, not just against the government, they're against Islam. They are saying the government has to go and Islam has to go if you want to have a future. This has provided an historical opportunity for you and I to make an impact. May I share with you the church in the West, we have missed it several times. Japan, after the World War II, was very open to the gospel. A few missionaries who were working there, they were saying, come on, the you know, Japanese are open to the gospel, send, send more people. And we missed that opportunity. And Japan became one of the hardest places to advance the kingdom of God. Russia was very open to the gospel. But when Prostroika came in 1991, suddenly, in just a matter of few months, Russia became a hard place. The same is happening in Iran. Iran is very easy, very open to the gospel, easy to evangelize, easy to build kingdom there now. But when the government comes down, it's going to be very hard ground. Let me give you the picture. There are three million believers in Iran, but there are babies. There are babies in their faith. And you know the characteristics of a baby? The babies are needy, number one. Number two, they are deceived easily. Number three, they're distracted easily. That's the danger. When the government comes down, we are, these three million people, they are babies. They will, they will need it. They will fall, many of them. Many of them will be distracted. Many of them will be deceived. So it is now, not later. Now is the time to build those three million believers and also to, uh, to train leaders and prepare them for when the government comes down. It's not going to be too long. This is the end. It may be weeks. It may be several months, but it's not going to be several years. Let's wake up, church. Let's not miss this opportunity to make history in Iran and the Middle East. That's why we started the 412 School of Ministry. That's why it's timely. That's why we need to focus on that. And we need to use that. 412 is based on Ephesians 412, equipping the saints for the work of the ministry. We need to move fast. I appreciate those who are helping us to move this school forward, but we need to move fast. And that's why I want to ask you, would you consider giving an extra gift? We are looking for 150 k by the end of September to speed this up, to be timely, not to miss this opportunity. And I appreciate you to give that gift. And may I ask another favor? You're my friend. May I ask you another favor? Would you tell others about this historical opportunity? Would you talk to your pastor? Maybe your church needs to be involved in the Middle East, especially the Iran, a gateway to the Middle East. I pray for you, I appreciate you, and I say, church, church, wake up. Let's work while it is day, and let's not miss this opportunity. God bless you.